So we will take our first rubber band and wrap these two dowels together. Now don't start cutting your rubber bands yet. That comes when we get to the cup portion of the project. So you just take your rubber band, take these two dowels that are kind of crossed in an X, and then just take, take the rubber band and just wrap it and twist it until you've got the rubber band as tight as you can around those dowels that are crisscrossed and just keep wrapping. And you might need some help from an adult or an older sibling in the house and if you do that's okay. But once you've run out of rubber band where you can't pull it and twist it anymore, you're done and you will have something that resembles this. And we're just going to do that same type of thing for the next two corners or adding the dowels. So just wrap, wrap, wrap till you're done with the rubber band and then move on to the next corner. Now that we've got our triangle made, you're going to um, see it all together like this and it's all attached. We're going to take the next three dowels and we're going to uh, lay them one in each corner and you're just going to take rubber bands and attach each dowel in the corner that already has rubber bands. Once we've done that, once they're attached, then we're going to lift it up and complete the second triangle at the top. But first we need to get them attached at the other three corners. So that's all you do is just take a dowel and a rubber, rubber band and get started. All right, so just take another dowel, lay it across where you've already got two dowels joined, take another rubber band, and just do the same thing. Just twist the rubber band that will hold that dowel into place, and keep twisting until you run out of rubber band. If you need help from a parent or a sibling, it's okay to ask. And then once you've got it all twisted, this is what it's going to look like. Then you'll continue doing that with the two remaining dowels, and then we'll go on to the next step. Now that the three additional dowels are attached, you're going to have a shape that looks kind of like this. It doesn't seem like it's going to work, but it will, because we've got one more step. We'll lift these dowels and attach them together at the top. Right, we're on to the finishing step of the frame of our catapult. So just take your topmost dowel, lift it up, lift the other two up, and kind of crisscross. 
cross them and you're going to have what looks like three triangles and we're just going to make them as even as possible at the top. Take another rubber band and wrap that one just like you've done all the other corners. You just keep twisting your rubber band around the dowels until you run out of rubber band. And then we'll add the cup. All right, so what we're gonna do for our next steps is a couple of things. We're going to take some rubber bands and cut them in half and then tie them together. We're going to poke some holes in the cups and then we're going to tie one of the ends to the cup in the three different holes that we're going to poke. And then we're going to tie the rubber bands to each of three corners to form our catapult. Catapult, sorry. Once we're done, we're going to be able to see how far we can get things to fly out of our catapult. The first thing we're gonna do in our next steps is poke holes in our cup. Or if you have a round hole punch at home, you could use that instead of scissors. Um, and you probably would want some adult help with this. Just be very careful. But you're gonna take scissors and you're gonna poke three holes into the cup as evenly spaced as possible. And just very gently kind of put pressure on the cup with your pointed end of your scissors and make a hole. And then just try to make two more as evenly spaced around the cup as you can. And you just want your holes big enough to be able to thread your rubber band through them. So I need one more. This looks like this bat. We'll poke the hole. Okay, so we've got our holes. And now we're going to take six rubber bands and just make one cut in each rubber band. And just, you might have to get it there, like that. So we'll have three, or excuse me, six rubber bands. I'll cut and then we're going to take two rubber bands and tie them together. If you need help from a parent or over older sibling doing this, that's okay. This actually is the hardest part of the project is tying these slippery rubber bands together. So just Tie a regular knot into your rubber bands so that you have three pieces when you're done. So just take and cross them, cross them again. Kind of stretch it out if you have to. Make them as tight as you can. So you have your three pieces of rubber band now. So there we go, with three pieces of rubber band. The next step will be to tie a length of the rubber band in each one of the holes around our cup. So just stick that through. If you have to pinch it a little bit to get through, you can do that. And just again, just tying a simple knot, tying your rubber band around your cup. Just as tight as you can. Take your next piece of rubber band, put it in the next hole. Up. These rubber 
rubber bands are kind of tricky. It's kind of noisy tying the rubber band to the cup too. Just tie it as tight as you can. And now our last one. Thread it through the hole. Make your knot. See, it's okay. Struggle a little bit. Start all over. Tight. Okay. And now we have our attached to our rubber bands and we're almost done. Now that we've got our rubber bands attached to our cup, we're going to attach the cup to our dowel frame. So we'll take one of the pieces of rubber band and tie the cup to around where you've twisted your rubber bands at the top of the dowels. And um, tying these rubber bands is the trickiest part of this project. But just tie it as tight as you can if you need some help. that your um, cup is facing outward and then take and pull your rubber band down to this next corner and do the same thing again. Just tie it around the spot on the bottom of the dowels where we have the rubber bands wrapped. And it's okay if it seems like we're stretching the rubber bands because that's what's going to make whatever we put in our cup shooter fly. So we have to have a little bit of tension here to get things to go out of our cup. And so it's going to be kind of wiggly to attach this next one. But you just stretch it down to the corner. And if you have to hold it with your elbow, you do that or get somebody else in the house to help you. And we'll just tie our rubber band. If it wiggles around the table a little bit, that's okay, as long as you get it tied up good. And I just lost my end, but that's okay. You just grab it back. it good and tight all right we've got our catapult all set now we just need to load it with some ammunition and we'll see how far we can get things to fly all right I have loaded some mini marshmallows in my solo cup shooter, the one thing that might be helpful when you're shooting is maybe put your knees, kind of get behind your catapult and put your knees a little bit onto the dowels just to hold your catapult in place. You're going to take your cup, pull it back, and let it go. <laughs> you can try many different things to shoot out of your catapult. You could try scrunched up paper, cotton balls, lighter things. The heavier things are probably not going to go with your catapult. Um, and 
you can just test it out and see what happens the further back you pull it to see how far you can shoot things and whether you aim it towards the air or to the ground. Um, but yeah, just have some fun with it and see how far you can get things to fly. Thanks for joining us for Crazy Catapults today. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you have any video or pictures of you putting together your catapult, I'd love to see them. And you can share them with us at the email address on the screen. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.